yeah. The point is, Woo! in the end, this is our street, it's our station. I am not asking for people to come and hit it up. It's their job. We gave them a lot of money to figure that out. They got the FBI, the CIA, the DEA. <laughs> Right now, we don't even have the infrastructure for me to tell you like where you can donate or how you can help. I know that people say white violence is violence, but God, I wish you shut up. <laughs> you think it's a joke, it's not a fucking joke. So, how long is this gonna last, bro? As long as we can keep it going, you know, uh, I'm working on a farm over there. We're going to try and get chickens out here and a reliable source of protein. And Yeah, we're far farming over there. we got a gorilla farm. You know, you lay down cardboard first and that suffocates the grass. And then you can put topsoil and mulch on top of that. So none of these are homeless people. people? There are homeless people out there and people in crisis, but like... Uh, Most of these tents look like new people. Yeah, it's all kinds of people. It's like Seattle local. First, I want to assure the president that Seattle is fine. I'm not sure what he's so afraid of, and uh, what he's depicting to the nation just isn't true. I spent time in the area today talking to people, um, listening to their concerns, talking about what brought them there, what they want to see for our city and for community. I don't know why the president is so afraid of democracy. Um, free speech is part of who we are. It's how we started as a nation. Um, and I, we will be fine in Seattle. We don't need the president's help. Hey, this Fox News, don't let him get an inch of space. You doing fuck shit, bro. I see y'all, bro. Y'all part of the problem, bro. And I'm gonna get loud about it. Hey, this Fox News right here. Hey, this is Fox News. Don't let him get an inch of space. Abolish the Seattle Police Department and the court system. Disarm all cops until they are all fired and abolish Who youth jails. You the mayor's for? office did not Who respond to our request for, for a request for information about what they plan to do next. You can educate yourself all you want. You don't need to know that much. You need to know that whiteness is not innocuous. It is tied with white supremacy to its very core. And being white is not okay. I mean, can people come and go from this area? I mean, is this an area that has been, I mean, the president makes it sound like this is an area that has been taken over uh, and is being ruled by, you know, somebody, you know, it is being ruled by, by, you know, by, uh, I don't know what, how we would describe them. Everybody, everybody. Yeah, well, well, folks can certainly come and go. And this area has been traditionally uh, a community a neighborhood where there's been a bastion of free speech and people have come to gather. Who don't matter? This motherfucker. 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 Bitch, don't come back. Don't go away, man. Bitch, just go away. Who don't matter? This bitch don't matter. The thing is, you have hijacked it. You have taken the meaning away. A handful of women representing the African American Community Advisory Council, which works with Seattle police. Check this out. I'm not done talking, boy. Came out to support the police chief, and that was mostly met with boos from the crowd. African American community. And they were quickly cut off. Not everybody is going to have the same opinion. Probably through it. Who knows? No, I'm gonna beat your ass. There is nothing more dangerous than a Seattle liberal. <laughs> 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 white people.
people, I don't want you to share because I'm talking about you. Don't you know what anarchy is? You wear my love. You wear my flag. I'll slice your face off. You got something wrong with me? No. Um, our 911 uh, response times have tripled in the area. They've gone from just over five minutes to about 18 minutes. Rapes, robberies, and all sorts of violent acts have been occurring in the area that we're not able to get to. So it is not a right for us not to be able to deploy our officers here. Hello folks, I'm here with Sam Shipman, and he's part of the security team at the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone in Seattle. You're a key leader of the security team. You know better than anybody else what's going on, especially with the security aspect. So just give us the lowdown. So essentially, uh, one of the really, really common misconceptions is that the CHAZ is essentially operating as a police state, uh, which I kind of already touched on. It is extremely decentralized. Right now, the CHAZ is primarily, it was primarily started and is primarily still being organized by local anarchist groups, uh, which for anybody that knows about, you know, the spectrum of left-wing politics, the anarchist groups are in America are probably the ones who would least attempt to establish a police state.